Hello everyone, I am Lolly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about die storage. These wonderful craft tools are such a great addition to our craft stash, but sometimes they're a pain to store. Now I have several different means of storing mine, so I'm going to show you a few of my ideas and hopefully at least one of them will help you. Let's get started. So this is one of my very first die storage ideas. I actually started off just with some cardboard and magnets and put it in like a shoe box. So these are from Art Bin, and I have several of these. Some of them are arranged by category and others are not. Like I have one that's like all sentiments. This one is for only Elizabeth Craft Designs dies. So what you get are these magnetic sheets and they come, they're pretty sturdy and they come, uh, I think three maybe per, per box and then you can buy replacement. And I've been buying these for a while and they're still available. So what I do is I can flip through here and see what's in there. Plus what I do when I turn it over is I use a tape runner and I put down what sets are in here because I figure later on I'm going to forget the name of these and if I ever use them in a video then I will need to be able to say what they are. So that is my first die storage and I still use this quite a bit and those are kind of like for uh, smaller sets. Now we move on also Elizabeth Craft. The, this is how I store the planner essential dies. I have an entire video just for this and I will give you a link down below to that. These are what we call half sheets. And so if you take a regular page protector um, that's for an eight and a half by 11 sheet in the US, these are half sheets. So they are five and a half by like four and a quarter is what they hold. I cut the packaging material up here where it says planner essentials. I take the dies off, I put them on a magnetic sheet I will give you links down below to that. And I use a tape runner and I stick them here on the page protector itself. So this is a really small uh, folder, but you'll see I have big ones later. So I put them in order, Planner Essentials 1, Planner Essentials 2, 3. You can see I didn't buy four. I don't buy every single one. I got five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I go to 13, 14, 15, I skip to 18, this is 22, and then I've got planner pocket. So that is the first set, and now I've moved on to a bigger one. Now you can see here the difference in size. It also makes it super heavy, and you can see how full this one is. Then I skip to 37, and I go all the way to See, 56 is my last one in here. Sometimes I the set is so big that I will need to put an additional magnetic sheet on the back like this. And you see I've also gone to putting my labels sideways. Now this is one that I have that I need to put on the magnetic sheet. And I also want you to see that not every one of these dies fits in the top. You see how this one is sticking out of the top. It's just a little big. So then I also have the one for the sidekick dies, Planner Essential Sidekicks. So these are sidekick only, and I do have these ones here getting ready to go into the notebooks. However, some of the die sets from Elizabeth Craft are what we call special kits, and they are huge. These are phenomenal. This is by Crafter's Companion. And the magnetic sheets that come with this are really strong. I like them a lot. Now, this is not one of those magnetic sheets. This is what it looks like. Um, this one had so many dies and stamps, and I wanted to save this brochure or the, the uh, project flyer. So I used a cheap magnet sheet in a page protector to put all that in there. But this is the main part of the set right there. You could put your stamps right here, um, but for me, I don't want those rubbing against the dies on the next page. So if you do that, I would always put something like this in between. Now this is the camera kit, and I just put this in between. Now this one, I'm not sure this what set this is, but this is a stamp and die set. I just put it in here. I think I need to find a home for that. 
So you could see how this fits beautifully in here. It hold, These are nice and big and they hold a huge set. Now, if you're not putting anything on the back, um, you don't necessarily have to put anything in between, but I did. I covered up that, that gooey strip that the dies used to be on, but I wanted all my big die sets in this thing. And the, here you go with the phone booth. So you can see, and this one again had so many dies that I had to use two sheets of this. I could have done what I did before and use a, a, a cheap magnetic sheet in a page protector for the second set. This is the butterfly pocket inserts. If I don't have the um, this, the project idea sheet, I will write here what it, that is. Butterfly, and you see it does stick off the end, but that's fine, it's not causing me any grief. This one is the Wave Pocket. This is actually a Planner Essentials one, but it was just so wide that it wouldn't fit into my little notebooks that I showed you, my little notebook pages. So that's why it's in here. This one is their uh, Mason Jar slash Snow Globe Shaker. Now, they stick really well, but if you bend this, you can see it does pop up because I'm bending it, but normally you're not going to be bending that. The Retro Bus Kit, again, had so many dies and stamps that I put all that in here to go with it, but here's the main die set right there. And this is not Elizabeth Craft. This is Scrap Diva 29 right there, and I have her flyer in there. And this is the box. I need to put a label here, but this is the book box from Elizabeth Craft, and I have the extra dies right here. But you can see how you could get a whole set or a really big die in there. Uh, it, there are some pockets here. I wish there was not the stitching. Um, this is also Elizabeth Craft. This won't fit in there. The whole thing zips shut. It holds quite a bit. Okay, so that is for like big die sets. Next we have Tonic Studios. Now, you know, I used to be on the design team for Tonic Studios, and so on the stamp clubs, they would send these, which they're on a nice card here, and you would have a stamp set, and sometimes they would come with a, the, its own die set. So after a while, that takes up quite a bit of room, and so all of these, they're in a, already beautifully packaged. So what I did was I just made my own cover for it, like that. And this is Craft Text, and I painted it, and I have a video for this. I will give you a link to that down below. And also for Tonic, Tonic has their own uh, die storage system here, kind of like the one I showed you from Crafter's Companion. This seems to be taller. I will do a comparison. So this is where I was putting my tall Tonic kits, and they come in these nice protective cases. But the problem is with these huge uh, snaps, it takes up a lot of room just for the snap. So I know a lot of people pop that snap out of there so that they could fit more sets in here. So this is the Out for Lunch gift box. This is a Christmas sleigh, summer fun die set, and the, I'm not sure the name of this one, it was a picnic basket. This was part of the magazine, and I have all the papers. So you can put the papers with this. So I've got the stamps, the dies, one, two, three, four, so five sets, and it's already pretty full because of those snaps. I wanna show you a side angle. The snaps are just taking up too much room right there. And they have a smaller one, and this is, I'll see if I can get the size comparison in here. I think this is called their medium die storage. Now, I am not a fan of orange, and hardly anyone's craft room does the orange look good in. So, yeah, I, I don't, you know, like that in my craft room, um, but it is a good dye storage set. Sorry for those of you who love orange. Uh, okay, so this is the medium one. So this is the exquisite sensor, and so these were just die sets. They weren't stamp of the month. I think these were called designer's choice, and so... It shows you how I've got a lot of die sets in here. They're all prepackaged. But so in this case, I am doing doing these by brand. So tonic is in here, tonic is in here. You don't have to do it that way. Like I said, I want to compare the size of these two because you don't have to just use tonic for this, obviously. 
Okay, now I've got them lined up on the bottom, and you can see here how much taller this one is. So that's the way I store most of my dies, and I think it has been very helpful for me because I know exactly where to look, and um, they're all organized for me. And, and that one, and that all keeps them all tidy for me. And obviously, you, you might not want all of those different storage systems for yourself, but I think one of those might give you an idea to use in the future. So give this video a thumbs up, and please subscribe if you haven't already.